Hello everybody and welcome to my e-lesson. I am your guru and today I will teach you the basics of VLOOKUP and how to use the exact and approximate match feature of VLOOKUP. Uh, we'll do that by reviewing this example. The example I have taken is of some students. Say, let, let's imagine that they come to my class and these are their ID numbers. ID number 5 belongs to Karan. ID number 10 belongs to Rambo. ID number 15 belongs to Superman. And ID number 20 belongs to Hulk. So imagine um, what kind of students am I handling. <laughs> uh, and, and these are a few conditions that we would be testing that First of all, uh, how to how to use VLOOKUP and get the exact answer. That is one condition we'll test, and then we'll test if we get to uh, uh, if we need to find uh, the name, the corresponding name of a ID number which is below the given set data in the given set. How to do that and how to find the answer or the name for. Uh, student whose id number is greater than what these provided in this set and what is what would happen if we try to uh, type in an id number which is within this range let's let's check that all right so first of all we'll check the exact match feature for which we'll be using zero and for the approximate match feature for which we'll be using one i'll tell you more about it as we progress in the video so let's try to find the name of id number five all right <clears throat> so how would we do that using vlookup so we have to type is equal to vlookup and now it says lookup value i'll select my lookup value this is my lookup value i'll press a comma now it's what is highlighted table array so i'll select my table array so this is my table array table array is nothing but the place from where you want to fetch the result now it is asking for a column index number column index number is nothing but the relative position of the answer from the criteria my criteria is id number and the answers are in the name column so let's count how many total columns are are there now one and t two all right so we'll always start counting from the column which contains the criteria so one and two this is where we will need to fetch the answer from so we'll type in two comma look up range look up now we are doing an exact match so we need to do we need to press zero so it will excel will find take this five keep it in mind and go down this range and find wherever five is and return the corresponding answer which it did it gave us gave us the name Kerwin. all right let's test for 10 so which gives us the result rambo now what if if i tried to find something which is below this range let me try three it is giving a na why because we are doing the exact match let me try to find 21 which is greater than the date numbers available over here again it is not giving me answer because we are doing an exact match let me try to find 16 still no answer this is again why because we are doing an exact match now we will change this and we will move to approximate match is equal to we look up look up value is this i select the lookup value is equal to we look up select the lookup value this is my lookup value comma my table array here is my table array comma two would be the color colon index number right now instead of zero i'll press one now see how everything would change now five is an exact match so we get current over here now what if we try to find something which is below the minimum number over here let's try to find three so we got a na why because excel couldn't find it now what if we try to find a number which is greater than what is available over here let's try 21 sorry let's try 21 over here we get hulk my god why, why did this happen well actually what did excel do well it, it, it kept 21 in mind and it went over here and it saw that to, is 21 greater than 5 yes so move on uh, is 21 greater than 10 so move on if is 21 greater than 15 move on is 21 greater than 20 move on then it find that there is nothing else so 
it gave us the last highest value as the answer which is hulk all right something akin to this would happen if we try to find a value which is within the range which is say 16 we, we got superman why excel get 16 in mind and checked 5 is 16 greater than 5 yes move on is 16 greater than 10 move on is 16 greater than 15 yes go to the next one is 16 greater than 20 no it is not go back one step and return the answer so this is what happened over here all right i hope you enjoyed this video and yes do not forget to download this file for practicing uh, uh, so you, all you got uh, to download this file all you need to do is go to mylesson.org and download the file for free so until the next video this is your guru signing off for the day do not forget to share the video have a wonderful day ahead